story developing right now. Michigan State University agrees to pay out a staggering half billion dollars to the 332 survivors of Larry Nasser. After weeks of negotiations, details of the settlement were revealed this afternoon. Let's bring in Jason Colthorpe live in East Lansing to break down the numbers for us. Jason. It's big news, Devin, felt across campus, even though it's really a ghost town, as summer classes have set in. Of that 500 million, 425 million is for the 332 Nasser survivors that have come forward so far. What they're going to do with the other 75 million is put it into trust, put it aside for any possible future claims for victims that haven't come forward yet. For the survivors, at least the ones that we've seen speak publicly and that I've talked to, today is a victory. My name is Emma Ann Miller, and I'm 15 years old. Emma Ann Miller is one of the 332 brave survivors of Larry Nasser. At his sentencing, she spoke for 23 heartbreaking and emotional minutes. I'm possibly the last child he will ever assault. Today, she's much happier. I'm still trying to take it all in. Like many of her fellow survivors, Miller feels like she's had a hand in making a change. But she's also trying to drive legislative change. I spoke in the House of Representatives over the passing of some of the bills, just to like inform them on um, my stance on it all. And so that felt like I played a role in everything that was going on. The laws need to be passed. Um, things need to just be changed. She and her mother, Leslie, know millions of dollars won't fix what happened, but it is a step. I feel that it's a step in the right direction for healing, and it's just a small step. There's so much more um, healing that needs to take place. It's not about the money. It's more about changing of, like, society and, like, how people, like, take people's words, like, valuing them and just... Believing. Um, yeah, believing them. And I want to give you one more reaction. If you remember, one of the most tense moments from this whole thing was one of the survivors, Lindsay Lemke. We remember when she came face to face with then President Luanna Simon outside in the hallway as Nasser's sentencing was going on, and they had a tete a tete there. She tweeted today, and I want to read it because I think it's very important. This is the most accomplished I have felt in a long time. I've never devoted myself to something more in my life than to fight for justice from institutions who hold more power than what is imaginable, but we did it. It's not the end, but this is victory. From Lindsay Lemke, and of course, there are so many out there feeling strongly about this and what has happened today with this $500 million settlement. Devin? Uh, Jason, what's the reaction from MSU thus far? Uh, well, a couple of trustees have sounded off, and I want to read uh, the chairman of the, the chair of the Board of Trustees, Brian Breslin, did issue a statement. There hasn't been anything publicly uh, on uh, anybody coming forward today, uh, nothing from President Ingler, but uh, Brian Breslin said this, we recognize the need for change on our campus and in our community around sexual assault awareness and prevention. A successful resolution to the litigation is a positive step in moving us all forward. And of course, there's another step in all of this. How is Michigan State going to pay for this $500 million? There have been some rumors and some hints given by John Engler himself at 6 o'clock. We'll try and break it down and tell you who's going to bear the brunt of that. Yeah, that, and we'll continue to follow more of the reaction to all this. All right, Jason, we'll see you again soon. Kim?